guys, welcome back to another edition here of Intuitive Angling. Thanks a lot for taking some time to watch the video. And today we are gonna be giving you guys some tips and advice on using a spin cast reel. Now this is something that most people don't think there's a place for bass fishing, but there's been national tournaments, one on a spin cast. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice on uh, maybe in situations you might wanna incorporate this in your fishing. I think you guys might find it pretty interesting. And real quick before we get started here, I just wanted to remind you guys of the Solar Bat Founders Day Sale. Um, this is going to be running through August 15th. We got a bunch of great deals on Solar Bat sunglasses where you can buy a pair, get the second pair free or for a, a lesser or for a lesser price. I'll include the Solar Bat link in the description. You guys can check that out and get you a pair of the good RB2 model sunglasses here. Much appreciated. Okay, guys. Uh, spin cast reels like i said a lot of people don't think they have any place in bass fishing i mean most people equate you know just bait casting reels and spinning reels to bass fishing but a lot of you guys that have fished the, tur the tournaments for a long time may have heard of Wu daves who won the Bassmaster classic in night in 2001 i believe and anyway Wu won a Bassmaster event in 1991 up on the uh, mississippi river with a Zebco 808 spinning reel. The pictures in the, you can see the uh, thumbnail in the video here. That's actually the tournament he won up there. And um, I gotta tell you right off the bat, I have not used a spin cast reel in tournament competition, but I know that Wu has, I know that Gary Klein took a spin cast reel, a Zebco 808 to the Bassmaster Classic one year. Um, there's, so there's situations you might wanna consider incorporating if your skills with a bait cast are sort of weak. Now, the main advantage of a spin cast reel, and we're talk, when we talk about spin cast reels, we're not talking about the little cheapy like the Zebco 202s that the kids start out with. We're talking about the more high quality bait cast, or spin cast reels or the larger spool ones like the Zebco 808. And I'll include in the products tab here, I'll put a bunch of different bait ca or, uh, spin cast reels in there to let you guys check it out. But these larger diameter spin cast reels they're, they're capable of holding a little bit more line and a little bit larger line and still casting effectively. And the main advantage of a spin cast reel is your ability to skip without getting a backlash. I mean, that, to me, it's like one of the, probably the most difficult thing to master in bass fishing is skipping with the bait casting reel. I mean, it's very difficult to do. You get a lot of backlashes, you get a lot of bird's nest, very frustrating, but you can take a spin cast reel and you can skip a jig or you know whatever as far as you want under a dock or under overhanging trees and have no problem with it at all. And that's what Wu talks about a lot, why he uses one as far as its ability to skip. And not only skip, is that he does a lot of pitching and flipping with it because um, with the spin cast, you know how like if you pitch and flip with a, with a bait cast reel, you have to sort of feather the line to get the, to get the bait to go in there. Um, the thing about a spin cast reel is you just push the button and engage it as soon as it hits the water and you don't have to mess with thumbing a reel. So it's pretty angler friendly and you can go from flipping and pitching into the straight skipping, you know, without missing the beat. So another advantage of it as far as the wind, you know, you're not going to get any backlashes in the wind with it. Um, so it's overall, it's just a lot more angler friendly for maybe some guys out there that aren't real skilled with bait casters. So anyway, guys, just a quick video. You might want to consider it. Um, like I said, I'll put in the product links in the description, you know, several of the more high quality spin cast reels if you guys are interested in it. They can hold up to like 20 pound test line. Um, I think most guys use anywhere between probably 10 to 15 on it. But something a lot of people don't consider, you know, when they're fishing anymore, it's something you might want to think about, uh, you know, if it suits the style of fishing you have. And like I said, it's, you know, if guys like Gary Klein and Wu Dave use them, they don't, they don't do it just for fun or for, to make a point or doing it because they thought it gave them an advantage. So anyway, just a little bit different video. Thanks for tuning in. We'll check with you guys later. See you.